This presentation is all about understanding UK heat waves. We'll learn to understand what they mean. 2018 was the joint hottest summer on record for the UK with soaring temperatures across much of the UK throughout June and July. This show will look at the impact of the heat wave and how the country had to manage the situation. Heat waves are not the same over the whole country and depend upon very much where you live. This is because expected temperatures vary over the country, with generally being expected to be warmer in the southeast of England than say in the north. Can you define what this term actually means? A heat wave is defined as a prolonged period of abnormally hot weather. In the UK it has to be warmer than the expected very high threshold for three or more consecutive days, ranging roughly from 25 to 28 degrees depending on where you live. In the Midlands, it is when the daily temperature reaches 27 degrees for three days running. Pause the show and ensure you've written down the definition before moving on. The 2018 heat wave in the UK was formed when a large high pressure anticyclone settled over the UK for several consecutive days. This warm, dry continental air mass with very warm air from over the continent was drawn in by the high altitude jet stream winds moving further north than usual. The air pressure, as can be seen on the weather chart, was nearly 1,025, well above the 1,012 average for our country. This meant that there was very little wind with cloudless skies, helping to provide maximum daily insulation, pushing the temperatures further upwards. The recent increase in heat wave occurrence can also be strongly linked to the effects of climate change with the UK generally getting most warmer summers this century. We're 30 times more likely to have heat waves now due to emissions from human activities. Pause the show and make sure you have understood the causes of the 2018 heat waves. Most of us view heat waves in a positive fashion as we're able to enjoy the great British outdoors for a change especially when the temperatures, such as in London, became hotter than Rome, over 40 degrees. However, it's also brought many negative factors, including people unfortunately drowning in the exceptionally cold quarry waters close by to where we live. Heat waves caused nearly 700 deaths during its peak, with people suffering, especially from being outside too long in the sunshine due to heat stroke. People going to outdoor events such as Wimbledon had to be wore, wear um, sun hats for fear of sunstroke or heat exhaustion. During the Royal Norfolk show, five people had to be rushed to hospital due to heat stroke again. Pause the show and note down some of the social consequences, many of which occur when a heat wave hits the UK since we are so unprepared for them. Heat waves in the UK bring an economic boost to the tourist industry as people head outdoors to enjoy the dry, warm conditions. People head to the beaches and countryside to enjoy themselves, which boosts revenue in leisure activities and the sales of ice cream. The excess heat, though, can be costly for our transport network. The AA is called out for more overheating of cars and lorries breaking down. Network Rail had to pay out compensation to passengers due to delays and cancellations after the tracks buckled. Prolonged dry spells also play havoc for farmers. Unharvested crops wilt away and die whilst animals suffer from heat exhaustion and have to be put down. In some cases, this may lead to food price rises. Pause the show and make sure you note down some economic consequences that you can remember and explain in an exam before moving on. 2018 was the joint hottest summer for the UK, leading to a prolonged effect upon the environment. The rising temperatures made animals suffer from heat exhaustion, with pet owners, farmers and zoos being put on a red alert to provide greater shade and water. Some livestock unfortunately died. Successive heat waves in this period of time also caused a reduction in rainfall, leading to drought conditions. This dried up farmland and made many plants and flowers wilt and die. Potato crops not yet harvested also suffered, with yields much lower than expected. The dried up conditions led to many forest and moorland fires starting, including Saddlewood Moor, burning for many days and destroying this unique ecosystem. 
drought, warmer temperatures and clear skies have led to increased evaporation, particularly drying the reservoirs to below critical levels. This put even more pressure upon the provision of water to household gardens and parkland. Pause the show and write down some environmental consequences of the 2018 heatwave. The government issued a level 3 alert for the country. This urges people to stay out of the sun between 11 and 3pm and emergency services to target high risk groups with an NHS warning for the young, fragile and elderly. People are advised to remain hydrated and use sunscreen at all times. This was relatively successful. The fire brigade was put on high alert as well and called out alongside the army to extinguish many wildfires such as on Saddleworth Moor, which took actually three weeks to stop. People living nearby as a result had to shut doors and windows due to all the smoke fumes. This was not so successful due to poor access to water supplies after a long dry spell making it harder to extinguish the fire. A regional host pipe ban was issued to over 20 million homes with a threat of £1,000 if caught. Many people though simply ignored this, filling up paddling pools and hot tubs alike. Overall, it would appear that our country still struggles to cope with any abnormal weather conditions such as heat waves. Pause the show and ensure that you can recall and evaluate responses to the heat wave in 2018. Here we have a very basic summary of the 2018 UK heatwave. You need to look at these points and compare them with your own to help ensure that you've got all the information you under need to help you fully understand all about the heatwave. The examiner may ask about causes, consequences or responses to the UK weather hazard. So make sure you're able to do this with the notes you have before moving on. On the screen you can see a typical exam question. Always take your time working out what the examiner wants. A good idea is to bug the question and start by boxing the command word evaluate. This means that you'll be expected to give a balanced answer with benefits and problems of the responses to the heat wave and then provide an overall conclusion. I've underlined the key parts of the question as well to help focus my answer on the responses to the heat wave. Classic mistake is people's writing about the consequences here rather than the heat wave and how it was managed. Why not pause the show and have a go at the exam question thinking about how well the NHS, government and transport operators managed the 2018 heat wave. A grade 9 student would develop their points made and say how effective each response was. Good luck. This concludes the show.